Hi everyone, my name is Oscar. I'm a Dutch speaker. I come from the Netherlands, obviously, and I'm here to tell you everything there is to know about the Dutch language. Come join me on this journey. So the Netherlands is a small country. Uh, Dutch is spoken there, but we used to conquer many different countries all over the world many years ago. And that's why Dutch is still spoken in some areas of the world, like Asia or Africa. Um, we are everywhere. You can say Dutch is quite similar to our other languages, um, to English, for example, to French or Italian or Afrikaans. I think we're all coming from the same Roman, uh, Roman language. So uh, there's many different words, many sentences that you can easily understand. So in my opinion, one of the most difficult things when you're learning Dutch is definitely the pronunciation. Oh my God, it's so hard for other non-Dutch speakers to learn this, like the ch and the sh. And we have a really a weird way of talking sometimes. Uh, it doesn't sound very romantic or beautiful, but um, yeah, it's something you have to learn when you are uh, learning Dutch. So an example is the really strong G, like Goeden dag or Goeden morgen or another swear word I'm not gonna say, but uh, yeah, this strong G, you have to learn it. It's very hard, but uh, yeah, it's part of our Dutch. I'll give you an exercise. So um, the G, it's very strong. It's very in the back of a throat. It's like you're, yeah, it's like you're angry. It's like you're, that is the we want. That's the Dutch. I think in Spanish, they also have this, but it's a little bit more soft, but ours, ours is very strong. Like in the back of your throat, it's really the, that's where the sound is coming from. That's the Dutch. So in the Dutch language, there's definitely the distinction between formal and informal. Um, informal, you would say against someone you look up to, like for example, Goeden dag, or you say u. Informal, you would say more towards your friends. You say je and you say hoi. And hoi means just hello. Goeden dag is like, it means the same, but it's like the formal version. So if I see a friend, I always say hoi, hoe gaat het? And if I see uh, like elderly people, I say, Goede dag, hoe gaat het met u? And that means, how are you? Some useful words when you visit the Netherlands. Definitely the first thing you need to learn is lekker. Lekker we use for everything. Lekker we say for food, we say for women, we say for something that is, yeah, it tastes well. Um, it's lekker. Lekker, lekker. Uh, and it means, yeah, it means basically good, but we use it in many different ways. Another thing is just a simple, hoe gaat het? How are you? It's de definitely very handy. Hoe gaat het? And another thing I can uh, teach you today is hoi, and that means hello. Another thing I can teach you is doei, that means goodbye. So, for example, in a sentence, hoi, hoe gaat het met jou? Oh, gaat het goed? Oké, okay, nou, ik ga weer vandoor. Doei! And that means basically, hi, how are you? Uh, oh, good to hear. Uh, and now I'm leaving again. Bye. Doei. Another thing I can teach you very useful, obviously, is dankje. And that means thank you. Very similar to English, but a little bit different. Dankje. Uh, you can also say dankjewel. It, it's a little bit more emphasis, but um, put it in a sentence, for example. Dankjewel voor deze mooie bloemen. Uh, thank you for these beautiful flowers. Dankje. So I speak five languages. I speak Dutch, English, German, French, Spanish. And my philosophy is really that, um, number one, it's important that people understand you, that you understand people. So the grammar is not super important. Of course, every language has, has rules that you need to obey by, but don't be super focused on that. Be focused on, on phrases, on words, on, on, on basically that people understand you. And in terms of Dutch, I would say, um, focus first on, on the introductions, focus on the, on the simple language, uh, talk about food, talk about how's the weather, talk about how are you, talk about that. And then slowly you progress day by day uh, on your language journey. I was born in the Netherlands in a place called Zierikzee. It's in the south. It's like where all the islands are. It's very beautiful, very calm, very different compared to the rest of the Netherlands. 
um, and everybody speaks their Dutch so my parents spoke Dutch my sisters spoke Dutch with me yeah I grew up learning Dutch I moved to Germany uh, when I was eight and then I came back and then I had to relearn Dutch again which is is not easy uh, when you come back from another uh, country and back to Netherlands because Netherlands is, is di different with the pronunciation, with the words, you need to relearn it and um, yeah that was a difficult journey but um, the reward is very nice, people are super friendly, people are super nice and then when you can talk to the Dutch people in their own language they really appreciate it. So a couple of tips when you are learning Dutch. Um, definitely handle the pronunciation, the g and the r, really practice it because there are so many words with these, uh, you have to learn it. It's not hard, but it needs practice. Another thing I would say, try to find someone, a native Dutch speaker who you can talk to maybe by phone, in real life, or by Zoom, or by internet. Uh, it's always very helpful to speak with someone who is a native speaker. And if you can't find, maybe try a, try a language app like Glossika. It's very handy, it's very structured, and it's very helpful to learn this language. And I'm sure if I can do it, you can do it too. All right, fellow language learners, that was it. See you in the next video. Tot de volgende video.